Hello everyone, good evening. I hope that all of you have had uh, a very good uh, IIT entrance exam. Now uh, is the time to move on, right? So stop thinking about what you did, what was the question, how you performed it, and go to the next level. We know that CUET and IA, uh, you know, ISI, they are the next uh, milestones that we have, right? And we have others also. We have IGIDR, we have Gokhale, we have Ferguson, we have DTU, et cetera. But currently our aim is uh, to focus on, uh, you know, uh, CUET and to focus on ISI. Now for that, um, the next initiative that we are bringing here is called 100 Days of CUET Economics. Every day, we will be meeting and we will be solving one very, very important question which can come in CUET. I want you to go ahead and read that question on the same day, solve it along with me on the same day, so that in 100 days, you do 100 questions. And these are important questions. These are the kind of questions that will come in the final exam. And then... You know, we will go ahead and we will do a similar series for ISI also. But I want you to be very dedicated and be with me as I do this series of 100 days, 100 questions, CUET, uh, economics, M economics, right? So uh, stop thinking about, uh, you know, what uh, has been done. What is done is done. You can't change it. Let the result come. But now... Take a step ahead and start focusing on um, what should be done for the upcoming exam. We have to get a good rank in one of these exams. We have to secure a good uh, position in order to go ahead and sit at a good university where the fees is less, the placement is good, the faculty is good. Right? These are a few of the things we all look for. Okay. So um, many students have been coming and telling me, Ki, please, ma'am, please uh, do a book, uh, do a you know video on analyzing the paper of IIT 2023. I will do that. Let the paper come out. Uh, doing it on the basis of memory-based questions and what students are telling is not is not the right way of analyzing the paper. Let the paper come. We will sit together. We will see how the exam was. What was the level of the exam? Many students are telling me that most of the questions were from mock exam pattern, right? The paper, the 10 mock papers that I took. So let's just wait for a while. Let's just see, you know, uh, how the entrance exam is. Let the paper come out. Then we will discuss it in detail. But till then, let's focus on the next thing. So the question that I have for uh, today is this. In the ISLM model of income determination, an increase in propensity to save leads to. This is a very simple question, but let's go ahead and think about this. See, when marginal propensity to save increases, that means that my small s is increasing. Small c plus small s is always equal to 1. Marginal propensity to save plus marginal propensity to consume is always equal to 1. So when marginal propensity to save increases, marginal propensity to consume decreases. Now, what is the equation where you see MPC? I only see it from the expenditure side. I only see it when I write the IS equation. I don't see it when I write my LM equation. So we know that y is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx and we know 
that C can be expanded into C bar plus small c y, right? So when this, so you think about it, when this small c is decreasing, small c into y is decreasing, right? So ultimately my equilibrium income level is decreasing, right? And decrease in the level of the income must cause, it must affect, right, the IS curve. So it goes ahead and it affects the IS curve. And since equilibrium is, income is decreasing, it will go ahead and it will shift the IS curve backward. Income is decreasing, right? Now, there is another thing, however. Note that when I have to write the slope of the IS curve, the slope of IS curve is minus 1 alpha g into b. Where alpha g is the multiplier, it's the uh, government multiplier or the investment multiplier, whatever you call it. So alpha g is 1 upon 1 minus c. That's the slope, right? If I just solve this a bit, I will get this. I will get minus of 1 minus c by b. Minus just tells me that my IS curve is downward sloping. This minus sign. So actually the slope of the IS curve is this. 1 minus c by b. What is b? b is the investment sensitivity. So, in the absolute terms, if I look at my slope, my slope is 1 minus c by b or 1 by alpha g into b, which means if the marginal propensity to save increases, marginal propensity to consume decreases, that means c is affected, but c is also coming in the slope. So, the slope is affected. So, changes in C will make it steeper or, or flatter. Which means not only is this a shift, but it is not going to be a parallel shift. It is going to make it steeper or flatter depending on whether C is increasing or decreasing. So, ultimately, you know, when I have to shift my IS curve, I know it is going to be backward. But it is not, it should not be a parallel shift. It would be like this or it would be like flat depending on whether C is changing, increasingly or decreasingly. I hope you know, right? So if this is the slope, if this is the slope, at any point of time, you can ask how the slope changes. This is my slope. So you can ask how slope changes as C changes. So it will give you minus 1 by B. It will give you a negative answer. So when C is increasing, you should think what will happen. Okay. Okay. So coming back to this point. So we understand that. And I want you to check. Ye homework ho gaya. Write it in the comment section. Check. When C increases, whether it will become steeper or flatter. I will check this answer and I will let you know whether you have done it correctly or incorrectly. So one thing is clear that when C changes, marginal propensity to consume changes, it is the IS curve which changes. It goes backward because my equilibrium income is decreasing. If you find your equilibrium income by star, it is going to be A bar, all autonomous factors upon 1 minus C. So equilibrium income is affected by C. Right? So 1, my equilibrium income is decreasing. And secondly, the slope of the IS curve is also changing. That's not asked in the question, but you should know. Slope of IS curve changes. So the correct answer to this question is that if MPS increases, MPC decreases, then you consume less, income multiplies less. When income multiplies less, 
equilibrium income is less, IS curve shifts to the left. So the correct answer to this question is D. Is this clear? Okay. Fine. Thank you.